last in the last session in the last session we talked about how to help people to experience the Holy Spirit and there is one element which I want to explain more uh, which is called experience God evangelism now I uh, I don't have the slides here for that but I have this um, page here there it says that when we pray for people what they can experience uh, and how we can use it for evangelism I'm going to explain a little bit more here first we need to build up a strong relationship with God and turn away from all sins and then spend more time praying and then we are filled with the Holy Spirit more and then we spend time long time uh, when we pray for people we lead them to trust in Jesus we lead them to uh, believe that God is loving them and open the heart uh, to love God and let believe God is loving them and three don't push people and then you know and then we can say okay I'm gonna lay it hand on you now and relax and put down your burdens and then when we lay hand on people we just touch them lightly and then we lead them to believe in God God is loving us God is worship uh, is being with us now we are worshiping you thank you Jesus you're you're responding to our prayer you're blessing us right now thank you Jesus and we can also sing thank you Jesus hallelujah you are so wonderful and after the prayer we'll say please keep your eyes closed and I'd like to ask you have you experienced anything during the prayer now this is very important please keep your eyes closed the reason why we we say please keep your eyes closed is because when people open their eyes they will be uh, they might be distracted by what they see around them so when they keep the eyes closed and keep praying in a prayer condition then they can still pay attention to what they experience and then we'll say please keep your eyes closed have you experienced anything during the prayer we'll ask experienced and if the person don't understand experience will say uh, have you felt anything but we first ask experience because uh, th there is biblical support for experiencing the work of God and then if the person asks uh, uh, say you know I don't know whether I have experienced anything and then we we'll tell them ask them have you experienced anything in your heart in your body and uh, if they still don't understand we we'll say have you experienced peace burdens go away comfort to your body uh, comfort to your hearts and if they say yes then we'll say God has blessed you God has come to you and bless you this is according to the Bible the Bible says that we can experience his peace and and he can all people who are weary and burdened can come to God and Jesus and and they'll experience rest so I tell them that they can experience rest we ask them you know uh, we tell them that this is what the Bible says and then if they say yes then we we'll say this is what God has done in your life and God can bless you during the prayer he can bless your whole life do you want Jesus to bless you and if they say yes then we can uh, explain the gospel to them Jesus has died for you Jesus has uh, come to the earth and he is the son of God he is also God he came to the world to die for us on the cross and he has demonstrated that he is the son of God and when we trust in Jesus as our Savior and repent of our sins Jesus will forgive our sins and give us eternal life and then we can be blessed in this life and forever do, so do you want Jesus to bless you and give you eternal life and if the person is willing then we lead them in the prayer of confession of sins the sinner's prayer so we lead them in a prayer like this Lord Jesus we confess our sins we th thank you that you have help this person to experience your presence experience your peace and burdens go away and your love and your comfort please help us to repent of our sins and trust in Jesus as our Savior thank you Jesus for dying on the cross for our sins uh, please uh, forgive our sins we're sorry for our sins please give us eternal life we're sorry that we have sinned against you we have sinned against pe people please wash us clean with the blood of Jesus and give us eternal life we want to follow you and love you and worship you and 
obey you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So we lead people in this prayer to confess the sins and trust in Jesus uh, as a Savior. And then after the prayer, we'll, we'll ask them, we'll ask them, uh, uh, have you really confessed your sin and trust in Jesus as your Savior? And if they have, then we'll tell them that Jesus has already given you eternal life. This is the experience God evangelism. The main thing is that after we help people to experience the Holy Spirit, we don't just stop there. We ask them, have they experienced anything during the prayer? And if they have, then we tell them that this is God's work and God is wonderful and He can continue to bless your whole life. Do you want Jesus to bless your whole life? And explain the gospel and lead them to confess, in Jesus, uh, confess Jesus as a Savior and ask Jesus to forgive the sins and give them eternal life. And, and then we can help them, uh, teach them how to follow God. So this is experience God evangelism. After we help someone to experience the Holy Spirit, we don't just stop there. We, tell them the gospel and help them to believe in Jesus and follow Jesus. And then we can also tell them, now you experience God when I pray for you. You can also, in the future, when you follow God and love God, you can also pray for other people and you can be used by God. So even when they are converted, we can tell them you can be used by God one day. So this is something that we can tell people. Okay, so this is uh, briefly the experience God evangelism. And also when we pray for Christians, then we can ask them, have they experienced anything during the prayer? And they, if they say, now if they say no, they will say, it's okay, it doesn't matter, you keep loving God and you, you experience Him more and more. If he, has an, if he has experienced the Holy Spirit, we explain to them uh, that it's God who works in you and God can use you. Do you want to be used by God? When you are used by God, God is very happy when you... Uh, serve God. God is very happy and He will bless your whole life. So we encourage Christians to follow God.